Hey everybody, this is Leah at Cargo, and we have an update to our workflow video that you've seen before. Uh, when you go into Workflow Now and you have an active job, sometimes your load assignment doesn't go all the way, or your load of call doesn't go all the way through, so I'm going to show you how to fix that. This task number one, when you're at your shipper, is exactly the same. We're going to say yes that we accepted our load assignment, yes to our pre-trip. If we have a trailer already pre-populated in there, it's going to be there. Sign driver ID, just like always, you want to sign your driver code. Once you click Submit, and then you submit that you've arrived at your shipper. At the load of call screen, there is a box now for a drop trailer. If it has NA already in there, just leave it, okay? Leave the NA in there and complete the rest of your load of call. If there's nothing here, this is gonna be the trailer number that is either preloaded or that you're picking up or as a live load, okay? So fill something in there if it's not there already. Verify that all this information is correct. If we know it, we're gonna put it in there, but if it's missing, fill it in. For bill of laid number or PO number, fill in your seal number. Finish out the rest of your questions like you always do. Under 25,000 pounds, you can skip your weight calculation. Otherwise, submit that. Once you submit your loaded call and we add our information to our logs, we're gonna get a message back on our messaging screen. So we hit the home button and go to messaging. And you're gonna get a message back that's gonna look like one of either of these. Either trailer number is missing from the loaded or empty. It'll tell you what's wrong with the loaded call or you'll have one that says your loaded call processed correctly. Please proceed to the next step. So when you go back to workflow, you're gonna to get to now a task number four that is new. So if you get the message back that says your order or your empty call was done successfully, you can now say, did you complete a macro 10, a drop trailer pickup, yes or no. If you've already done it, you know, click a yes and click submit. If you got that message that said your loaded call did not go through, you can come back up here and fix it yourself. Open back up task number three, your loaded call, where you submitted it before, and now you can click on the button that says, create another. You're opening a task that's already been completed. Yes, I wanna confirm. And now do it again. So now where it says NA, if you've got the trailer number and you said, oh yeah, I, I did drop a trailer. Let me go ahead and type that number in. Fill in that number and resubmit it, okay? Resubmit that and try to fix it the second time. So now you will have four tasks that you'll get to on your loaded call. After your loaded call, I'm sorry, you'll have four tasks. So if you get back the message that says it's completed and it managed, it went through correctly, send in task number four, confirm the loaded call. If it comes back that there was something missing, come back and resubmit your loaded call again. Again, if you have any questions, if you ever have concerns, please call in and talk to your fleet leader.